Justin, and this is Pisces Printing. And as you can probably see from the intro to this video, I have version 2 of the speaker done. Okay, so for version 2, I went away from the flange mount design that I did on version 1, because I was less concerned about mounting it and more concerned about understanding how the motors move and how they interact with the surrounds and what the surrounds do to the sound quality and then also I have a um, machine wound coil now so I 3d printed and built the lathe to actually wind these so I don't have to do them by hand anymore and it seems to be a lot more efficient now also this time instead of an array of magnets I went with actual ring magnets that um, the coil sits down inside and then I just have this that the magnets sit inside of and this just clips onto the bottom of the speaker like such. So um, you've already seen the play test of it but I'll go ahead and put up the um, build video of this as well. Okay, um, so now for the next iteration of this, what I'm thinking is I actually want to do a metal core and a metal top plate and bottom plate, so I'm probably going to design the next speaker with an array of magnets built around some sort of bolt that I can use washers for. Because my ideal plan would be to get this to where it works and then I can upload the file for anybody that wants to try this to, um, actually attempt to build it and have it work. And I'm trying to go for as close to a, um, a store-bought speaker as you can get for a couple dollars in plastic and a little bit of copper wire. So, um, I'll keep you guys updated on how that goes. Um, yeah, so until next time. And don't forget to um, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and if you'd like to keep um, up to date on how the speakers are going and also the version 3 speaker will probably be printed on a resin printer versus a FDM printer so yeah <laughs>